We answer a lot of questions about electrical systems in camper vans and RVs and such, and so we've come up with nine of our top do's and don'ts when it comes to installing and maintaining your system. And the first one is don't put washers in the flow of power of your system. So for example, if you have a shunt here and it's got a bolt and a washer, and you're attaching a lug to it, keep the washer out of the flow of power. So if the flow of power is going from the lug to the shunt, keep the washer out of the way and on top of the lug so that the power is not trying to go through the washer. It's going to create a lot of resistance, heat, and give you issues down the road. And our second one is do make sure you check your system for loose connections. So this is especially important when you do your first few drives after installing your electrical system. Just go ahead and check all of your lugs, your wires, make sure nothing is loose in there, make sure everything is nice and tight so it's not going to come out or create resistance. And after those first few drives, it's a good idea to check those periodically anyway. So we like to recommend, you know, when you're doing your oil changes or regular maintenance on your vehicle, go ahead and do a system check as well. Don't block your components. And this is for two reasons. One is going to be airflow. You want your components to have enough air flowing around them. Uh, so that they can stay nice and cool. But the second is just access. Uh, if you're gonna be checking your components regularly, it's gonna be super nice if you don't have to you know, disassemble part of your electrical system to access a component or something like that. So make sure that all of your components stay nice and easily accessible. Do make sure you're cleaning your solar panels regularly as well. So just hop up there and make sure that they're free of any dust, debris, leaves, stuff like that. And also if you're in a snowy region like us, uh, make sure that you're brushing off that snow off of your solar panels. If sun no see, no solar make. <laughs> Don't put your system into storage without charging your batteries all the way full and then disconnecting your batteries. Now each battery may have a different recommendation, but that's kind of the blanket statement that I can make there. Alternatively, if you have solar panels and you're not parking in a garage or somewhere where you're going to have snow on your solar panels all winter or something like that, you could just turn off all of your lights, loads, fridge, and all that stuff, turn off your inverter, and then leave your system on so that your solar panels can keep your batteries topped off. Do make sure you program your components. So your components, such as your solar charge controller, may not come from the factory programmed specifically to the parameters of your system, like the specific batteries that you've purchased. So make sure that you go through your user manual, you can look up the videos that we have on these, these components and check and make sure that your parameters are set properly. Don't tinker with your system unnecessarily once it's already set up and working. You know, we get a lot of questions of people, they have a working system and they're like, well, maybe I should change this and try to like squeeze out an extra watt and a half out of my solar panels or something like that. And it's, you're really not going to be able to get a whole lot of extra performance uh, by changing something small as long as it's set up properly. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Do keep an eye on your system via the Victron Connect app or similar app. Um, and make sure that you know what those typical parameters are that your system is running at. And this can actually help you identify loose connections or dust on your solar panels or any of those other issues that we talked about. And lastly, and probably most importantly, is uh, be sure to subscribe to Explorers.life because we have a ton of tutorials and resources that help you design, install, and run a mobile electrical system. We hope this video was helpful. We'll see you next time.